few years ago, I, I, I taught uh, the tiger leap exercise. Some of you have done this exercise. Um, I, think it was, I think it was in studio two. I remember walking down the hall. Maybe it was here. I remember walking down the hall after we'd done it, and everybody had been in this like, oh, stay. And one young woman who was in the class came up to me and said, oh, Steve, I'm so sorry. I, I, I know I shouldn't be afraid, but I was really afraid. And I thought, oh, shit. It wasn't that clear. <laughs> because that exercise is about courage, but it is not about fear. It's about that courage is actually this process of having the fear and going ahead anyway and transforming the fear into the energy of belief. Um, a couple of years after that, you know, teaching that exercise always scares me. Uh, and people sometimes get hurt, and so I look for alternatives. And I was saying to Mary Oberly, you know, Mary Oberly. Right? <laughs> I said to Mary Oberly, you know, I've been teaching this Tiger League for years and years and years. Do you know something else that we could use that does that same thing as running towards somebody and then leaping straight forward <laughs> and diving and rolling? And she thought for a minute and she said, no. <laughs> I don't know any other exercise that quite does that. Um, and, and, and I also don't, I haven't found anything else that's, that's quite that. But the core of it, you know, the, the purpose of that exercise is not that you're going to become a gymnast, but that you realize that extreme emotional conditions like fear, and I think that there is nothing like fear. I think that fear tra trumps anything else. I mean, that's why George Bush won in 2004. George Bush won in 2004 because they pushed the fear thing. And the fact that people knew at that point that there were no weapons of mass destruction or that the Iraqis had not had anything to do with Al-Qaeda was wiped out by the fear images. You know, they had these ads about the wolves. I saw the ads, but they were ads of wolves circling. You know, and, uh, um, fear will be anything else. Love, anger, anything else. Um, so the idea is that even something as powerful as fear is a, is a kind of energy that one can acknowledge and work with and transform. And the idea that courage requires fearlessness is totally off the point. If you're fearless, it doesn't take any courage at all. You just blindly go forward and get shot or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 courage is that you, it's not unrelated to the living with the open heart business, you know, the, the living with a broken heart that you know where this is all headed, but you go ahead with your open eyes. If you close your eyes while you're doing this Tiger Leap, it won't work. You can do it, but it's not the same exercise. The point is that your eyes are open, and you see how scary this is, and you take that energy, and you put it into this leap that your legs and your arms are doing. That's the courage part. It has nothing to do with not having fear.